Hey, hey, what's up everyone? RC84 here. Like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, I've talked about that I wanted to get back into the RC construction stuff because I've been coming very fascinated with the construction vehicles. And so I decided, you know, I want to get a few new vehicles uh, for the construction site and fleet and all that stuff. So let me show you one of the vehicles that I picked up. And this thing is really awesome. This, my friends, is the Caterpillar D7E from Diecast Masters. This is a 124 scale vehicle. I know it's not 114th because uh, in the hobby grade construction world, a lot of things is around one, uh, 114th scale size. Uh, so it's says like the, the semi trucks and a lot of the uh, tractors and vehicles are 114th, but Anyway, I saw this one. It really caught my eye because it is a licensed Caterpillar product. That's one of the things that sold me on it because, you know, I've seen people making ones out of brooder toys and stuff like that. But I was like, I think I'm not ready for that right yet. Maybe down the road I'll try to do something like that. But anyway, I saw this one. It's really cool. Now, this is a RTR, which stands for ready to run. It comes with everything you need to get you started. It comes with the batteries for the controller. It comes with the batteries for the vehicle, a charger, all the stuff you need. So let's take a look at the side of here, the side of the box. This gives you some good uh, stuff. Let me see if we can get it up there. See, uh, hopefully you can see it. Fully function RC. It's got a sound unit, long lasting run time, which I think they said around 30 to 40 minutes, maybe. Uh, it has a 2.4 gigahertz system. It has a demo mode that shows you what the vehicle can do. Also shows uh, what moves on the vehicle. So it has the blade going up and down. So this means that the ripper on the back of it does not actually function. Well, it moves up and down, but it doesn't move through the controller. So you can't you know, can't push a button and it go down and up and stuff like that. That kind of really does kind of suck right there that they did not incorporate the ripper in. So I might actually just go ahead and take the ripper off because, you know, it's not going to be no fun sitting there trying to, you know, rip up the ground. You have to lift up the vehicle every time you get stuck or something like that. But, all right. So, we have the light and sound system, also shows, you know, what it does, and the rechargeable battery. Now, the controller has two AAA batteries, and the battery for the dozer itself is a 7.4, 600 milliamp lithium-ion battery with a USB charger. So, let's go ahead and get this thing out the box and take a little, a little bit closer look at it, all right? First off. We have the instruction manual. You definitely want to read that to make sure how to operate this vehicle, which is very pretty simple to operate. It takes no, no real time to learn how to do it, but it also gives you all the information about the controller, uh, you know, the status of charging up and stuff like that. So we don't need that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the controller first. Look at the mini Xbox controller. That is super cool. The joysticks, uh, yeah. And on the back is where the batteries go. Uh, I'll talk about how to uh, operate the dozer in another video uh, if you want me to do that. All right, let's see. So we got here the pack. <clears throat> so we got the uh, USB charger there. See there. So we got that. We got our AAA batteries that come with it. Boom, look at that. <laughs> All right, and then we have our battery right here. So it's a 7.4, 600 milliamp lifting and ion battery. Now you probably could run another type of battery there if you want to have a little bit more run, uh, longer run time. But anyway, we got that. All right, so let's go ahead and get the styrofoam off this thing. Now, I will be honest with you guys. I have gone ahead and unboxed it a lot because, uh, I, first off, I really wanted to play with it when I got it in. Uh, but it had tape all around the styrofoam, and to do that in the video would be a nightmare. So, let's pull it out. 
dun, dun, dun. Look at this. how cool is this? Very, very extremely detailed, as you can see. Got the cab there. I don't know if I'll have a figure or action figure will fit in there. We'll see. There's that ripper right there, which I told you that you know the ripper comes down like that. So yeah, I don't really like that factor right there that the ripper doesn't come down. There are some other toy brand companies that uh, like Hunana, I think is how you pronounce it. They have on their Dozer 1580 or 1560 that has a ripper that actually drops down um, on theirs by pushing the button on the remote. So I probably would end up just probably doing away with this whole thing because it's not going to run. So I'll just do it like that. So it would just be uh, one, just a dozer. <laughs> All right. So I say we'll slap in some batteries. Give this thing a little test right here on the workbench and see how it goes. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. All right, so we got the batteries in the controller, which goes in the rear right here. You can see the little fill it screw there. You got to undo, get the batteries in there. And the battery goes right here. Another little fill it screw and a little latch share to hold it in place. So we're going to turn on the controller first. You got a blinking LED light. Under here, turn it on. All right, so let's give it a whirl first. Oh, lift up the track. Only one speed, but very controllable speed. All right, we'll turn off the sound. That way we hear it better. All right, let's lower the blade down. Now the clicking sound you heard is just a safety clutch so you won't uh, damage any of the gears. So let's raise up a little bit. Let's take an uh, RC4 drive tire. We'll put it in front of it and see if we can push it. No problem. All right, let's do something a little bit heavy. How about a tool chest or a tool toolbox here? And I will show y'all. There's tools in there, bits and stuff like that. So let's try, let's see. Now do that funk, do that ripper. Of course, it's just way off the ground. So, but yeah. So, on your controller, you had the one little button here that has the demo mode. So there we go. Now, we need to get this thing out in the dirt, see how it does. Let's go do that. 